Howdy y'all, Lone Star Roger here. Bags. Yeah, I know. I had to pay for it. Y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. I'm glad y'all stuck around. I was at HEB here in Austin, Texas, and they made me pay 23 cents for this bag. And the cashier told me that that the company, HEB, decided to uh, charge for the bags so they would be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? More green? Yeah, more green. <laughs> Now, I didn't expect that in Texas, but there was a lady in the other aisle, and she goes, no, it's not the company. It's Austin, Texas. Austin makes you buy the bags, and you can bring your own bags. They're 23 cents. Anyway, it's not a very sturdy bag. Well, it might be a little bit sturdy, but it's got little handles. 23 cents plus tax for this. Now, I bought this bag in California, and I expect that to happen in California. Nothing against California, but you know. I paid a dime for this, and this was over a year ago, and this bag's still lasting. <laughs> it's a darn good bag for a dime. Just saying, dime. Anyway, HEB is not trying to be responsible, but they are upholding the law in, or city ordinance, should I say, in s selling you a bag. The only thing is, is they gave me two plastic bags for the watermelon that I bought and something else, you know, regular grocery plastic bags, and they didn't charge me for those. So what's the deal? I don't know. You tell me. But I paid 23 cents for it. I did not expect that to happen because the cashier goes, do you want to want me to bag this? And I'm going, well, sure. I would love for you to bag it. And then when she did that, I was going, uh, I saw the prices on the screen over the register and I'm going, you just charged me for a bag? She goes, yeah, that's what I said. I said, no, that's not what you said. You asked me if you wanted to bag my groceries. And I said, yes. And she goes, well, I thought you might have your own bag. And I said, listen, I'm not from around here in Austin, and I don't know these things. I said, I'm from Fort Worth, Texas, and they don't charge for bags. Of course, we don't have any HEBs. We don't have any, as my friend Doug says, HEBs up in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. It would be nice because I really like HEB stores. They're pretty cool. So anyway... This is about bags. So if you had an experience or anything you want to comment about this, let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, comments. I know this is a bag video. And you know what? This video is in the bag. <laughs> Y'all not subscribed to me? Y'all should be. Click on that subscribe button down below and then hammer the hell out of that bell and you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment, let me know what you think. Catch y'all on the road in Austin, Texas. I know. All right, I have an update on this video I just recorded. Uh, some of it is not correct. I found out on Austin's Texas.gov's website that that Austin did do a ordinance back in 2013, but there was a ruling by the Texas Supreme Court that they could not override Texas law. So they lost the ability to enforce retailers to have customers pay for the bags. But the stores can still do that. So HEB has every right to sell bags uh, according to this website and I'll have the link down below. I found it quite interesting and uh, 
at least have to tell the truth here, don't we? <laughs> uh, so, cities can't enforce that, but retailers can. So, HEB can be green if they want to and charge for their bags. There is no uh, law that says they can't uh, do that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now this video is in the bag.